In the previous video, Hollow Mountain, we went inside the Labyrinth Stope Mine, where there's these small passages that lead randomly up and down the mine. We only explored a small portion of the mine, I imagine. Uh, but this time, we're going to go over to the Bandit and Ballroom Mine, where it's a whole different set of workings, where the passageways are less random in this mine. So let's go inside and check it out. And welcome back to Hollow Mountain. In the desert of New Mexico exists a mountain. A mountain bearing scars of progress. Within this mountain are miles of underground passageways. Passageways that led to lead and silver bearing veins that randomly run through the mountain. Since the 1880s, miners chased these veins, leaving behind a labyrinth of tunnels, shafts, and large man-made caverns. No major mining operations have been conducted here since 1915. What's left behind underground are spectacular mineral shows, corridors leading into the voids within, and even a little mystery. Join me as I go inside. Join me as I explore these abandoned labyrinths that pierce the inner depths of the mountain. This is Hollow Mountain. Okay, we're in a, another adit up here in Hollow Mountain. And this one has some different characteristics that, uh, than the other one. This one appears to be uh, hand dug. You see all the pickaxe marks in here. And just the shape of it. It's slightly different. It's more squared off. It's not as tall either. Got a duck down in this one. This one's kind of easy. You just follow the airflow. This just faces out right there. The airflow continues this way. See, it just got stale again right here. And yeah, it curves. Almost like a loop. And there's the face right there. See it here? So we're just following the airflow. And it picks right back up. Some minerals right here. Oh yeah, it is fluorescing. You see that? Pretty neat. There's some stuff glowing right there. Ooh, what's that? That's really fluorescing that right there. Let's turn the light back on. Yeah, that's definitely glowing. Further down this adit. And the rails are still intact here.
You having fun with the candle? Yeah. <laughs> we have a mummified remains of a cow in here. Might have to try that out, see if we can get up there that other level. Uh, we got to figure out which way the airflow is coming from now. There's an old rope here. I don't really trust old things, but sometimes you got to make do. Cal definitely fluoresces. Look at that. Glow in the dark cow carcass. All right. Let's follow this drift. Oh, the air just got stale. Some more minerals. Oh, here we go. Right there. Whatever that is. Let's continue on. Caught up to Adrian. All the minerals, it's not sparkly back that way. Yeah, let me. Go check check it out real quick. Tell you what, the back of this mine is low. Got to stay hunched over the whole way. And we have an ore chute plugged up and a face. Huh. Hatch. Ninety-four. Well, we're gonna head back to that uh that little raise there. Be back with you in a minute. We're back at that little raise with the false floor at the top. Uh, I'm going to see what's up there. Uh, I do have to wear a respirator mask, so I'm not going to be talking very much because it just muffles it like this. So, yeah, it gets really dusty right here, and I don't want none of that. This is the way the airflow is going. So... Wow. At least it's blowing it up. Now I know why I didn't go up before. Let me figure this out. I don't know if my hand ascender will work on this rope. But getting down is going to be another fun part. You know what? There is airflow going up there. And then we do have another... Uh, Add it to get to up there. So, why am I trying to do this the hard way? Why don't I just, why don't I just go up to the next edit and see? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, we made it inside that upper portal. That was, it's just above that last one we were in, and we felt airflow going up into this sketchy raise. It's got false floor. It was just a little awkward to a. Uh, Trying to climb up that without the proper climbing equipment. But yeah, this one's much taller. Much more comfortable. I felt a nice breeze going in. 
so we'll see where this breeze takes us. If this is the right uh, mine that I think it is, it might take us all the way out to the other side of the mountain. We just gotta figure out where. All right, it just got significantly lower in here. Which way does the airflow go? There's a beautiful pocket of uh, malachite turquoise shit up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's where it got all yellow and dusty. It went this way. But oh. Keep looking. Oh yeah, there's a another false floor there's right there. Right yeah, is it that little one? It's about six feet tall. Yeah. 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 Okay, I know where we're at. Here's a remnants of a dynamite box. Yeah, there's a newspaper and battery in here. A battery in here, like a big nine volt. Yeah, right there. Okay, and yeah, we went up this. I think that led to that huge stope, actually. Looks like there's another little uh, passageway up there, too. We'll get back up this momentarily. I just felt the air get stale, though. This might not be the place we're trying to get to. Mm -mm. Faces right here. They're both faces. Yeah. What's that sign say? Nothing. Huh. Alright, that's the way we came. Let's go this way. Stop walking. Okay, I know where we're at now. Slight airflow. There's that decline. Whoa. Is that where you're going? Uh, there's a safe way to tie off. And yeah. So what about that metal bolt right there? That's a little bit too far down for my comfort. All right, we're in that uh, cross cut off of the main adit. And uh, <laughs> I was in here with my kids the last time and we called it the McDonald's colors. Wow, look at all that McDonald's colors. Bye. All right, Bye. right? Because it's just orange, red, yellow, blue. Mustard color. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. And uh, there's another little uh, drift up there. I'm on an old wooden ladder. You can see all the pretty colors, uh, but I'm gonna try and figure out how to get down. Wow. <sighs> get down there. There's airflow though. Yeah, dude, I, I wanna know what's down there. So the Bob Vila of mines. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. What is it, square nails? Square nail. These are newer nails, but there's a square nail on that one. We're going to see what we can do on creating an anchor point to tie off and go down that, that decline. Let me see what this is all about. I don't know about that wood, though, man. That span. If you do it sideways, like, like this, it has a lot more strength but it's also is there another place we can put it besides right there though all right we're gonna make do with what we got and try and go down this uh this incline see where it goes I'll pretty much at the bottom off oh wow can you see that? No. What is it? Dark, dark like Chrysocolla. 
All right. I see airflow. All right, I'm going to keep going down. Oh, oh, hello. Another drink. And there's a, a bucket. A bucket? Yeah, like a modern one. That decline just looks like it's just an ore pass. And it gets real tight. I'm probably going to have to get off rope right here. Are you off rope? Yeah, I'm off rope. Yeah, that gets, uh... You got a call? Yeah, but it's like sketchy. Because it looks like it drops down. I don't see any wood. What about the timber in front of you? What's that for? There's another drift. Oh. This is just holding up all that. So let me get up here. I'm talking about the wood platform right. from the other place, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, what's this? Okay. Pet milk. Oh, sh snap. Somebody was high grading in here. Marlboro Lights smoking too. <laughs> wow, that's, <coughs> that's something. Another stump. Uh, not too big, oh, let me find out. I'm just gonna wrap my rope around that. Where does this go? There's a rat poop in here, that's a good sign. The air's all right. Listerine toothpaste, 59 cents. Looks like. T1 air compressor. Westinghouse air brake. Coil. We'll come back to that. Let's stay on the right hand side first. There's a lot of stuff like garments. Like, uh, all right, that's just a face. Granulated sugar. Some clothing. This looks like it's from the 60s. Okay. Let's go back. Cake and cream. Some more clothes. Log cabin syrup. There's just all these boxes. Fragile, and we can all right, there's a face here too. Oh, there's sparklies in here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let's see. 
Hang on, so Mr. E Dream. People definitely been smoking down here. Here I am wearing a respirator and people are tarring up the lungs. Okay. Does that lead to anything? Let's see. Oh snap, there it goes. Well, I wanted to show you that. It's still going. Still going. Yeah, I'm at the incline. Still going. This is square box going down the hill. All that dust is coming up here now. Hold on. Okay. What's inside of it? There was a case of Hillsborough's coffee. Okay. Yeah. Which way are you going, Dust? All right, let me see up here. There's a lot of... Oh, can you see my light? Yeah. Okay, there's that little hole. Looks like face is right there. All right, I'm gonna get down, get back on rope, and get back up and out of here. See that? And I bring gloves and I don't wear them half the time all right we just climbed out of that that incline you can see the rope going down didn't go too too far maybe what 20 30 feet and i tried to bring out this hillsboro uh i guess coffee case there's just an empty uh coffee case nothing in it but it fell down that drift and it kept going or fell down that incline. It rolled like it was a freaking And it kept circle. going and going and going and going. So this goes down to a whole other uh, level. Not sure where, but uh, it's far. You can feel airflow blowing up. I think this may be that platform that we were looking up at, at, at that, other, uh, that other drift, that other uh, mine down below us. Don't know, uh, probably won't find out, but it's an educated guess. But we're gonna go uh, continue into this mine and uh, see what else we have here. All right, we just left from right there. That's where that decline was and we're heading further down the attic. This ore chute right here. I'm going to go up that ore pass, and there's a pretty neat surprise up there. See up there. Okay, we're in the ore pass. We're going to make our way up. More air flow. Whoa. Things is out right there. Another stoke. Okay, this is getting to be pretty large up in here. Sorry, let me say that again. It's getting to be pretty large. The stump.
We climbed up there once. If it'll focus, there we go. There's a place up there too. Yeah, we've been up there. Uh, have we been up there? Yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> You'll definitely remember this. We're gonna climb through that little hole. And uh, there's quite a surprise on the other side of this. So, meet you on the other side. Okay, we just climbed through that tiny little hole. And uh, we've ended up in this ballroom that's looking up, directly up above us. And uh, there's Adrian right there. Hey guys. Where's the ladder at? Right here. Okay. Let me turn this one off. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is big. This is a big room. It almost looks like Carlsbad Caverns. It's pretty big. It is big. Let me try to get up here without kicking up too much dust. Looks like that's not going to be easy to do. In the stope. Ugh. This dust. And it goes down. Alright guys, keep up my battery on my pro light. Ooh, this is something else. Yeah, it's cool. Look Good at job. that. Look at all that quartz up there. I remember this was all colorful. Yeah. In the picture. Oh, yeah. Okay, that goes up to a windlass up there. There's another, uh, hold on, let me see. There's another entrance to the inside of the mountain right there. Uh, we are running out of time now. We'll scout this area out real quick and see what else it has to offer. I mean, since I'm right here, I might as well just check this out. And it's a backfill. Yeah, it's totally backfilled. Oh well. They see some of the pretty minerals that are in here. And looks like we have a another ore pass down there of some sort. You going down? Oh, let's go take a look. I'm going to have to put this camera away real quick, though. All right, so in there is that huge stope. And we're inside a drift where behind me, I totally checked it out right there, and it was backfilled. But off to the right, there's a windlass right there, or what a windlass used to be on top of it. Let's climb up there. Okay, we're at this uh, little area that used to be a windless. Of course, you never see these things in here. They always get stolen. And that goes down into a, another decline. You can see how deep it goes. It's not too, too deep, but it's enough. It's a continuation that's stope below us and uh, some more pretty minerals. This goes up too. That's that big stope. Oh, and there's the ladder going up to the the next level. You can see the ladder? Yeah. The one from over here? Yeah. Oh. You can see it. And then... Uh, Oh, there's more uh, chambers up in here. I mean, you can definitely come check it out if you want. It's looking up. Is that you? 
Uh, up there by where that ladder is, yeah. Okay. We have some more drifting here. Yeah, I haven't been in this part of the mine yet. And then, oh, some backfill. I don't feel like climbing that. It's getting late in the day and. Okay, that's just a face. Just had to find out. Okay, let me get back down. Probably gonna head on out of here. Let's get one last look at this chamber here. Yeah, it's a smaller stove, but that one on the other side's huge. Is it going anywhere? No. It's, it faces and there's uh, another uh, stope down there, but. Hey, you're shining your light and I can see down there that there's ladder that you're. Lighting. Yeah, the other, the other timbering. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, let me get off of this old timbering here and, oops, make my way down. All right, that's looking up at the top of that stope there. That's actually calcite. Yeah, that's not quartz. That's calcite. That's why it's left in place. And here's Adrian coming down uh, this ballroom here. And we got to make our way back out and then down the mountain. You got to go through this tiny hole to get into this big hole. So let me get through that crap. <laughs> 